Um, Donald Trump has the absolute ultimate ability to fact check everything about this case. I mean, in the trailer, one of the things that's really surprising is that you have one of the jurors saying, you know, he was going crazy, there was no evidence, no blood on the guys, but they confessed. And so that was that, you know. But when you look at the nature of the confessions, when you look at the nature of, of what happened to get the confessions, how, the, how these confessions didn't match anything that the other guys were saying, you know, and then all of a sudden, 13 years later, the truth comes out, and here you have a guy who talks about what happened at the crime scene, talks about when he struck the woman over the head with a tree branch, talks about dragging her into the woods, and key evidence that no one else had mentioned is that she was tied up with her own jogging outfit. You know, Donald Trump has the ability to look at all of this stuff and to put the truth out there, but I think that it's more attractive to him to be divisive, to be negative. He's calling it a positive thing that he did back in 1989. I mean, we're talking about this crime happened April 19th, 1989. On May 1st, Donald Trump had already taken out the ads. Uh, it was being ran in New York City's newspapers, calling for the death penalty to be reinstated. What was happening was that we were given a social death. We were being tried in the media, and they were getting ready to lynch us in public and through the court system. You know, if I had a show, I would tell Donald Trump he was fired. All of the things that he's exhibiting today is very, very disturbing. Uh, nobody who is seeking presidency should even have any kind of shady, dark past like Donald Trump. He's definitely not the man for these United States of America.